Hello everyone, this is Earl Cox here. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to actually do the upgrade process with Feeder Metrics. Okay guys, I'm here. I'm on the homepage of feedermetrics.com. The first thing you want to do is actually log into your account. Okay, I'm using one of my downlines account. I'm a pretty much, um, they pretty much get a free upgrade from me tonight um, since I'm actually doing a walkthrough of the upgrade process. Okay, so pretty much you first thing you do, you click on login. All right. After you get to login, on the left, you're going to see where it says upgrade. Okay, you're going to click on upgrade. And when you come to upgrade, you're going to tell you the system is the exact, the system will actually tell you what level you're going to be upgrading to. As right here, this person, Derek, is actually upgrading to level three. So he tells you the cost of level three is actually $20. Right? So he says when you're sending money to the memory for the metrics, you are agreeing with the terms. Okay, so. What you're gonna do, you're gonna say click here for instructions. You'll click here for instructions. Now it's telling you your current level is level three, and now you're paying for level four. All right, so most of you are say you're just joining the um, feeder metrics, you, you first upgrade to level one. You're gonna tell you you're currently on level one, and you're currently paying for a level two. Okay, so as you tell you, go down right here to step one. You see this person right here is receiving PayPal payment. His address is right here. So you can tell you this is the email address you want to actually send a payment to, right? If it's um if it's PayPal or the person using Pizarro or um Sully Trust Pay, gonna tell you exactly who to send a payment to. So since this person is actually using PayPal, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy this email address right here, the PayPal email address. I'm gonna copy it. And but before I go to PayPal, I want you all to pay attention to this to these um, fields right here. This information that the system is actually giving you, it's telling you exactly how to a uh, step by step on what to do when you get a PayPal. And the stuff you don't want to forget, you want to make sure that when you are actually paying, you want to pay for purchase of goods. Right, that's one thing you're keeping account. And also, when it says copy and paste the following, you want to put in the in the message box, you're paying for a digital downloads from your username. So the person who receiving the payment knows who's the payment from okay so i'm gonna click him and go to my paypal account okay so first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and paste the email address in here that i'm sending payment to i'm gonna paste the email i'm gonna put the amount which is twenty dollars for level four all right make sure all right i'm paying for level four so it's twenty dollars right you're paying twenty dollars so it's going to make sure so now I'm going to go to it, I'm going to click on, I'm paying for goods and services. All right, because I know we're actually paying for digital downloads, all right, digital software. So there we go, I'm going to click continue. All right, you make sure everything is right, the email address, so you're sending the payment to, $20. Then you come down here, I'm actually going to change it because I'm paying from my uh, PayPal balance. If you have a card, that's fine, you could um, select whichever payment you want to use to actually pay for the upgrade. Okay. Okay. So now we say um, shipping is no shipping required. So I'll click on it. I'll click on no shipping. All right. So right here in the box, remember the message I'll put in payment for for digital downloads from. from Derek okay and that's basically for for people so you want to make sure you have the correct email address and how much you're paying for the upgrade if you're doing a level one you'd be a dollar seventy five and right now I'm doing a level four upgrade so it's twenty dollars um, you want to select make sure you have the right payment method twenty dollars and you want to select no shipping address okay and it say you leave the subject line you're not going to change the subject line you got paid you leave that right but you want to actually put this message in the message box so you to have proper processing for processing um, purposes you want to put the information here okay payment for digital downloads from whosoever you say who your your username so this in this case Derek is the person username and right, I'm gonna click send money all right so you don't tell me I sent twenty dollars to artist shop all right so what you want to do now you want to copy the transaction ID so I'm gonna click on view transaction And right, I'll copy the transaction ID right here. I'm gonna copy this. All right, all these numbers without the bracket. All right, I'm gonna copy this number. And I'm gonna go back to my field matrix, the back office. 
right the same place that you did you went to do to get the information to the upgrade I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and it asks you for it says enter your transaction ID you could if you pay with PayPal you can put select PayPal if you pay with Pizarro, Solid Trust, Perfect Money or Eagle Pay you want to select which method you paid with so in this case I, I paid with PayPal so I'm gonna select PayPal and I'm gonna just click paste the transaction ID in here I'm gonna click submit all right so now right it says payment details has been sent out so right now whosoever you paid right they're gonna get a notification in the inbox in the back office saying hey you need to confirm this payment all right so in that case I paid um, Artie Shaw $20 so Artie Shaw gonna be seeing this payment pop up in his back office so make sure guys when after you make send your pay your payment to whatever payment processor you use PayPal or Pizarro SDP make sure you copy that transaction ID and go back to your back office and fill a message and paste that transaction ID number in because if you don't the person they will receive your payment but if you don't paste their transaction in they're not going to know who's the payment from all right so they won't be able to actually confirm you in the system so in order for you to have to be upgraded you have to be confirmed that's why it's so important you have to paste that transaction ID number in your freedom matrix back office okay guys so make sure you do that and um, that's basically the upgrade process so after you do that you could just get in contact with that person if you in can if you have contact with them on Facebook just shoot them a message hey um, I just upgraded to whatever level you upgraded and um, give them a shout out and they'll know they'll actually go in there and confirm you all right guys thanks for um, looking at the video have a blessed day